Hey guys, welcome to the Dash and Tamara Show. I'm John. And I'm Tamara. Thanks for joining us. We have a really amazing guest. Savan Fallon-Hogan is here, you guys. Yeah, you guys are going to know her from every single movie that's ever been made, ever. She's been in Forrest Gump. She's been in Holes. She's been Charlotte's in Web. Charlotte's Web. It's she's an, been on Saturday Night Live. She's been on SNL. She's amazing. She's super funny, and it's a great show. Can't wait to show you guys. You're you watch watching the Josh and Taylor show. Our guest tonight is an actress and comedian. She's been a cast member on Saturday Night Live, played Elaine's roommate on Seinfeld, and played memorable parts in the following Hollywood blockbusters, such as Forrest Gump, Men in Black, Daddy Daycare, Holes, Charlotte's Web, Dogville, The House of Jackville, We Need to Talk About Kevin, The Shed, For the Room, The Negotiator, and Strip Cheese, just to name a few. She's the writer and star of the upcoming film Rushed, Hitting theaters near you soon. Please welcome to the Speed Interview, Siobhan Fallon Hogan. Siobhan, are you there? Sarah, how are you? I'm great. It's so nice to see you. So nice to see you, Sarah. It looks like you're calling us today from your nice country estate. I'm calling you from my home in the hills. <laughs> <laughs> how sophisticated. I didn't I realize know. we were going to be dealing with an aristocrat. I know, and I'm dealing with a bear. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so, Siobhan, we're going to be doing your speed interview today. Um, okay. We're going to ask you a series of questions. You go ahead okay. and answer them as quickly as you think you can. Right. I think, think fast. Yes, think fast. And every time you answer a question, you're going to hear this. And then we're going to move on to the next question. Okay, Are okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, question number one. <clears throat> what do you get recognized for most on the street? Your role in Men in Black or Forrest Gump? Oh, God. Uh, Men in Black. Correct. Um, what, what is your favorite sandwich? Sandwich? Yeah. Turkey and tomato and cheese and, um, onion. Wow, good answer. Okay, uh, tell me everything that has happened in your acting career from the very beginning up until right now. You will have one minute on the clock. And ready, <laughs> set, go. Okay, I did lots of summer stock theater. Then I did theater. Then I did TV. Then I did uh, Saturday Night Live was my first. Actually, Golden Girls. Then Saturday Night Live. Then, 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 a lot of, a little bit of TV. Then movies, 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 Men in Black, Forrest Gump, um, 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 The Negotiator, New in Town. And now I wrote a new movie uh, that I wrote myself called Rush, and it's coming out. And um, in between that, I did other movies and lots of children's movies like Holes. And I just did Clifford the Big Red Dog, but it can't come out because of Zoom. <laughs> I mean, not Zoom, I mean the COVID and um, other kids' movies. But good movies like The Negotiator with Samuel Jackson and um, stuff like that. Is it a minute yet? Oh, uh, yeah, you got uh, 10 seconds. Okay, okay. And then I would tap dance in between and walk my dogs and take care of my kids. Well, oh. tap dance is correct. Good job. Okay, next question. How do you decide which movies you would like to be in? Oh, um, by the quality of the script and if I like the part. Good answer. Uh, has there been any roles that you have turned down? Oh, lots. <laughs> um, uh, uh, what, uh, has, there, has there anything you be, you have auditioned for that you didn't get that you really wanted? Once I didn't get one. No, I'm only kidding. There's been time. hundreds and thousands, especially when I was in musical theater because I couldn't sing very high. Oh, good answer. Um, what is your dream role? My dream role is to play your mother. Oh, that would be amazing, correct. Um, well, your character Beatrice was amazing in Men in Black. Uh, so I guess my question is, from that production, what was your favorite moment working on that film? Um, having sugar water, and also, wait, there's two, and falling on the mattress when I fainted. Okay. So I went over the bell. Um, what does Tom Hanks smell like? Like a bear. Oh, wow, really? Uh, if you could change one thing about the world, what would it be? Um, I would make the, mm, the COVID stop. Oh, good one, good one. Uh, you played a bus driver, obviously, on the classic movie Forrest Gump. Uh, yes. What was it like preparing for that role? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I went down to Savannah and I had to drive a 1949 bus with a stick shift, and the guy that taught me how to drive it had to have a, two six packs of Pabst Blue Ribbon. Wow, that she works cheap. A uh, follow up question What was the, I guess, what was the most memorable moment on that set? when they told me that all I had to do was hit the brake and um, when they yelled cut and I forgot and I slammed the brake and all the producers' kids went forward and slammed their heads. Oh, Lady oh, wow, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, what was your favorite experience working on the film Charlotte's Web? One of my favorites. Washing the pig, washing the pig, washing the pig. It's all about the animals, Sarah. Wow, yes, that's, that's good to hear. Uh, correct, uh, dogs or cats? Dogs. Correct, uh, tell me a little bit about your audition for Saturday Night Live. Oh my God, 
okay, I had to do several characters in two minutes and there was a lot of other women and it was so cutthroat. I have post-traumatic syndrome just talking about it. A follow-up question. Did you do a celebrity impersonation? And if so, I did. fun. I did Catherine Hepburn very, very timely. I said, all the Galilees are in tune again. Oh my God, I would cast you again right now. That's no, amazing. Man, everyone loves her. <laughs> what, give, me, give me some advice for some up and coming actors and actresses in their careers. What, what would you say? Run for the hills. Oh, good advice. Um, you were on 30 Rock, Seinfeld, SNL, obviously, Golden Girls, and yeah. all these amazing comedies. You create wonderful characters. How do you um, prepare for your comedic roles? I don't do anything. I just think of something psychotic. Oh, wow. Uh, do you prefer TV or film? Oh, I love film. Uh, tell me a little bit about your movie and the motivation behind the film that you wrote and star in called Rushed. It is about, it's very sad, it's not funny. It's about a mother who, a child goes to college and she's worried, worried, worried about him joining a fraternity, but she's also an enabler. So she helps him learn the pledge. And um, then she finds out how terrible hazing can be. And then it all comes out from there. Wow. Good answer. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Is that, a, um, is that the right answer, Sarah? That's the correct answer. Thank there you, are Sarah. no wrong answers on speed interview. Okay, okay uh, next question. We're almost done. Next question. Okay. Um, Robert Patrick, when he yeah. showed up the set, was oh. it like kind of like a Terminator <laughs> moment? Well, ter yes. He he he's the best. He came on a motorcycle for real. He drives a Harley. I worked with him four times. He is brilliant. Wow, that's awesome. And finally, what is your favorite curse word? Say it loud and say it proud. Crossword? Curse word. Oh, cursed word. Mm. Poop. Poop, good answer. Congratulations. You are the winner of your speed interview. Yes. You did yes. it. Yes, yes. I am so happy. Thank you, Sarah. Extra points for your speed. <laughs> Extra points? Extra Great. points. Great. Champion. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for doing speed interview. Nice to see you. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, you're welcome. I have an L problem. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, we're gonna play a really fun game right now. It's okay. called Character Accent Game. So here's how it works. All you have to do is pick a character accent from the list, okay. and then a sentence for two people to try out. And whoever says it best in that accent wins that round. Right, and whoever my... has the most wins, wins the whole entire game. Okay. Whoever wins the accent is the new judge and gets to pick the new character and the new sentence to say. So you guys ready to play, Grandpa? I think so. How about you, Siobhan? I am so... Already, I'm looking yes. at my, my options. Yes, I'm, reviewing, I'm, I'm so also reviewing my list here. Okay. I will start first. So I'm gonna give you guys huh? uh, a character accent, and the character accent is Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. And sentence number one by Dr. Seuss. So give your best okay. Kardashian with sentence number one. Uh, Siobhan, you can go first. Okay. Wait a minute now. I oh, I have no idea how she talks about. Dr. Seuss, one fish, a two fish, a red fish. I feel like blue fish. I feel like. Uh, I don't know if I can compete with that. That was awesome. Even though that I was awesome. Not only can I not keep up with the Kardashians, I cannot keep up with your Kardashian. I she's okay. Trying. I think she's gonna um, win so far. Grandpa. I gotta say this sentence. Bring it out, Grandpa. Uh, I'm, hi, I'm Kim Kardashian West. You have to be more belly girl. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Doctor, uh, um, Jesus, I don't know who the hell this lady is anyway. Um, one fish, two fish, blue fish, red fish, <laughs> eat a fish. That was excellent. Who won? It sounds just like her. Thank you. Siobhan, Siobhan won that round. Ah, come on! I'm sorry, Grandpa. I'm sorry. No She's worries. So great. You're so great. All right, now she gets to be the judge. So you get to pick a character and a sentence. Oh, okay, so uh, let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick, um, let's see. I am going to pick number... Seven. Okay. Number and seven what is accent the do you want us to do in, in what character voice? We're going to do um, Catherine Hepper. Oh, okay. That one I can do. Okay, you go first. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead, Grandpa. Uh, one potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, <laughs> seven potato more. <laughs> that was excellent. That sounds just like her. Thanks. I, it, my voice is like that because I fell in the Hudson River and I got poisoned. <laughs> she fell in the in the river doing the African Queen. Well, I know. That's why I, that's why I said it was I, I know. I know. That's why we can relate. We can relate. <laughs> right, okay. This guy knows more okay. than me about guys. Watch the rivers. Right. That's all I got to say. All right. Ready? Good oh, luck. Okay. No okay. pressure. All right. Here we go. Okay. My turn? No, my no, turn. No, Tamara, go. Oh, Tamara, you're playing too? Okay. You're the, you're the judge. So you have to 
the turkey. Oh, okay. no, so you did it back. Right? One potato, two oh. potato, three potato, four. <laughs> Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes, more. Wow. Well, I really thought, that, I'm sorry, Grandpa, but I, you're turning out to be a big loser. No, that's I, okay. I, I thought she was about to have a seizure. <laughs> All right, so Tamara gets to judge Yay. now. It's me okay. against the okay. okay, Okay, that was so much fun. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here, we're going to do a 1950s mom voice. Uh -huh. Okay. To number nine. Number nine. Okay, right. let's see. Wine is constant proof that Wait, not okay. You. Oh no, okay, go ahead. Grandpa. Go. Okay. 1950s mom voice. That's correct. Number nine. Wine is constant proof that God loves us and loves us to see us happy. Oh, that was good. That was so She's got this awesome. down. This She's got 1950s she was on oh, Benjamin else. Franklin. With Benjamin there. Franklin, I feel a little bit like him. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1950s mom. Really 1950s mom. 1950s mom. See, they're, they're slightly drunk, the, the women in the 50s. So uh, I'm going to go with that. Oh, that's true. That's true. Shoot. <laughs> this gonna might go be with, your turn. This might be it. I'm going to go with wine is constant proof that God loves us and loves to see us happy. Uh, I have to say that Grandpa... No, I'm I, still a loser. I'm going to be the judge, and I think Siobhan won. God damn it! Okay, oh, next one. No. <laughs> no, it's okay. Language. It's all good. Your language. Okay. It's all, all good. Right. Don't get upset. Listen, we're, we're so okay. okay. So Siobhan has two, and I have one, and you have zero. Okay, okay. fine. So I'm the judge. Okay, so here we go again. Okay. So, um, we're going to do... Pick something I can do. 1920s Beat Reporter. Oh, that's easy. Okay. To number six. Number six. six. And Saban, you want to try? Yeah, Saban, you sure. go. This is a cigarette. <laughs> gotcha. The average dog is a nicer person than the average person. Oh, Yo, that's that good. So that's good. good. Wow. That was so good. I don't want to brag, but that was not, that was. That really, was there's really a reason you get cast in everything. I Holy shit! You just that's the thing. I took my time. time with it. I took my time with the moments. No, you that's did. good. That's good. Okay, just, okay. Just mic drop. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. You let it breathe. Yeah, she let it breathe. 19, 1920s she should just mic drop that. No, I got this. I got this. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, the average dog, see, is a nicer person than the average person. Huh? Oh, uh, oh, 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 uh, oh, I took too much time. I think, great. do I decide? I decide. Oh. That is such a tough decision. No, it's me because oh, I, I needed a warm up. He needs to get on the board. I think, okay, Grandpa's on All right, we did it, okay, I'm the judge now. That's great, oh, that's all I wanted to do. Everything, fit. it was fair and square. All fair right, all right. I, now, got I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, but I got a funny feeling that, that Saban might be a ringer for this. I got, I got cocky, but my name is Siobhan. Grandpa, Jesus. come on. You know? Grandpa, you can't interview someone and not know their name. I know, well, I'm just looking that's at the That's not good here. form, well, you're, maybe you're slipping. It's a run, okay. It's a running gag. Lateral lisp is the accent, lateral, lateral lisp. lisp. And uh, we're gonna go with the sentence of uh, what's a good one? Uh, did we do number one yet? Yes. Oh, a lateralist yeah. compared to like a bilateralist? What's the difference? <laughs> yeah. See, I don't even know what a lateralist is. Uh, how about uh, how about? Um, pick one. Uh, Just pick any number, random. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how about? Uh, oh, this is a this is a this is a Groucho Marx quote. Number seventeen. Okay. Seventeen. Uh, what are we? Are we lateralist? Yes, lateralist. You, can go you versus Tamara. Okay. Who goes first? You can go first. One morning I saw the elephant in my pajamas. Oh, that was so lateral. Dude, I guess. Wow, all right, Tamara, I beat that. I think we're bilateral, and then I was like, no, you said lateral. lateral. See, what would bilateral be? Oh, geez, that's terrible. Okay, yeah. go ahead. That's no, I mean, like, I feel bad for I that person. Too. I mean, I feel bad for the bilateral. Oh, go ahead, lateral. Yeah, sure. Sure, why not? One it's adorable. Morning, I shot and emptied my two shamas. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. Okay, Tamara, you're going to walk with that one. Okay, Tamara, you're going to walk with that one. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. Tamara's going to walk with that one. I don't know. Grandpa. I don't know. It was adorable. I was pointing Grandpa, for a girl. I hope it's not nepotism. <laughs> if, are you dating Tamara? No, I'm her grandpa. This for is God. my grandpa. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. It's been the COVID. All right, fine. Okay. I, I think she should have won, but thank you, Grandpa. Yeah, no, I, right. listen, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go now. You're like, you're like, how do you shut this up? How do you off? shut this up? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Do I don't know how is the real problem. Who's the okay. judge now? Oh, Tamara's a judge. I'm the judge. Okay. okay. All right. 
Okay, so um, a, something a good. loud whisper. Whoa, <laughs> that's easy. For number 20. Number 20. No, loud a whisper. loud whisper for number 20. Now I'm on my porch, so let's see. Okay, a loud whisper. Yeah, you go. I could tell that my parents hated me. <laughs> my bath toys were a toaster in the radio. Okay, I don't know if you I should even try. What is a loud whisper? Okay, hang on. He's awesome. All right, this yeah, is thank you. This is my favorite. Oh my god! Award, I don't want to brag, but award winning. Award winning. A loud whisper. <laughs> All right, a loud whisper. I love this. Game. I could tell that my parents hated me. My bad toys were a toaster in the radio. Is that like? Is that a whisper? That was just being loud. <laughs> yes. I thought it was well, for a grandpa. It's a loud whisper. I don't grasp the concept. <laughs> <laughs> Siobhan won the game. All right, oh, fine. Thank God, I was really starting to get, you know, I was starting to feel bad about myself. No. Bad movie. All right, bad so movie. you're the judge now. You pick. The queen of amazing Oh, characters. I picked what? I picked the quote? Yeah. Pick, pick an accent and a quote, accent and it's Tamara against me now. Okay, Tamara against you. Okay, so now I'm going to say, let me see my accents. Oh, a drunk. Oh. And then I would like you to do number one. Number one is a drunk. Okay. Number one is the, oh, Dr. Grandma. Seuss. Okay. Drunk. Um, mm, I got to get method. Uh, hang on. Here's some alcohol. Got to remember what it's like to be drunk. Don't get messy. Get messy. You, you don't know. I'm going to do it right now. You wait a second. Hang on a second. You hang on a second. You're so. No, you so hang on a second. A I'm bit. doing a quiet whisper. Okay, okay hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, one fish, two fish. Red fish, uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and scene, good, good, beat that sucker. Oh my God, that's good. Mike, drop, Mike, Mike <laughs> drop. Yeah. I'll be over here if you need me. <laughs> I'll give you a Wait, moment so alone to figure it out. So, I have a headache, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Three fish, blue fish, whatever, whatever fish. Do you have any pretzels? Do you have any pretzels? No, she said drunk, not <laughs> Barbara Streisand coffee talk. But okay. Grandpa, Grandpa I think you won that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, in the really bag. Good, oh, I lost my glasses. I lost, okay. You're obviously both very, have a lot of experience with that last one. Yeah, we're so wasted right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the last bonus, this is the last, the last question. Okay, here we go. And so far, Siobhan is winning. Yes. So, oh, thank crushing. God. Because you can't invite someone on your show and have them lose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that right now. <laughs> we learned that okay. the hard way with so, one of our you, you will never get the person back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so last round. Last between round. Between me and Savon. So let's yes. do this. Let's do this, Grandpa. Pick, choose wisely. Oh, I pick? Yeah, you won. Oh, okay, okay. Um, hmm, uh, let me see my list. Hang on. Uh, choose wisely. Choose wisely. Uh, let's go with. Um, no, no, did that, did that. Uh, been there. Oh, uh, see, I'm torn between Jerry Seinfeld and Yoda. Oh. But uh, let's go, let's go Yoda, and let's go number 10, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Okay. Okay. I don't know what the hell, what is Yoda's, what was he was on the Star Wars? Mm, number Yoda, 10. he sounds like this, yeah. Oh. Mm, Yoda. Mm. Okay, okay. Nailed it, you will. Nailed it, you will. <laughs> Do I, who goes first, me? Yes. Peter Piper picked a pack of pepper peppers. How many pepper peckers did Peter Piper pick? Where's the pack of Peter Piper pick a pop of Papa? Bonus points for <laughs> being Gilbert Godfrey doing yeah. Yoda. <laughs> oh my God, that was that was bad. Go ahead. That was bad. That was my best Yoda. I have other really good Yodas. I didn't do them. It was the good kind of bad. Okay, uh, go ahead. You go. <laughs> Peter, Peter Piper picked a peck of pepper pickles. <laughs> a pickle pepper Piper picked Peter. If Peter and Peter picked a pickle pepper, where the pickle peppers Peter Piper picked? Why did you need to read that? You don't know Peter Piper picked a pickle pepper. I was trying to do it in reverse. Because no. Yoda says things backwards, so I was like, what word should I put? Okay. Pick on? <laughs> Fallon Hogan walked with that one. She did. Really? Oh. oh, yeah. Come on, I was more Yoda. Oh, sorry. I mean, well, whatever. <laughs> what I mean is, she wins the game. Oh, she you won right? with that one. 
I am so, so grateful. And this is a great way to start your day. It is, right? <laughs> we'll do it every day until quarantine's <laughs> over. That could be a long time, according to the news. I know. For real. Stop watching it. Stop watching. Oh my God, we could be doing this every day. I'm oh really good at Yoda by then. Yes, right? Oh. I, I, I won that round, but you won the game. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yes. You win the accent challenge. We are the champions. We are the champions. We <laughs> keep on fighting to the end. Damn. A cramp in camera. Hi. I'm Bob Blankenship from Bob's Ball Emporium. It's summertime, which means it's sports time. And if you don't got the balls that you need, you gotta come to me, because me, Bob Blankenship, I got balls. I got balls. I got blue balls. Basket. Big basket. I got huge balls. What the hell's this? Hey, Tim, Timmy, what is this? Come on. Supposed to be balls, buddy. Come on, come on, you know what's going on. Jesus Christ. Balls, what's one thing you can't do in the summer without balls? Enjoy yourself. Go get some balls, today. You make sure you get on down to Bob's Ball Emporium. Grab my balls and have yourself a good summer. Basket, foot. Blue balls, huge. Don't be a coward, come down to Bob's Ball Emporium and get yourself some balls. If you ain't got balls, you need to see Bob. Wink, ha, <laughs> I said wink is a sound effect. People always ask me, Bob, why should I come to Bob Brankenship's Ball Emporium to get my balls? Well, I'll tell you something. My balls, they're not droopy, they're not soggy, they're not wet, they're not gonna slip out of your hand. My balls, they fit nice in your hands. You grab onto my balls, and you're not gonna wanna let go of them till the end of the summer. We are knee deep in balls. Come on down to my emporium. I hope you're not feeling this, but just for the hell of it, I'm gonna grab my own balls. <laughs> you can't get those at the store. Those are for my wife. Those are for Gloria. Hey, let's face facts. Not everybody's got the balls I got, so I'm just gonna come out and say it. Come on down to Bob Like It Just Ball Emporium and get yourself some balls, will ya? Come on down and get some balls! Ah, oh, god damn it! Okay, well. I guess I deserve that. Gotta take a ball to the head every now and then, you know? Yeah, Bob. It's summer, right? Come say hi, 49 East State Street, Trenton, New Jersey, off the Southern Parkway. Hey, so now is a part of our segment called plug a -rama. So you have anything you'd like to plug, any current projects you're working on, and go ahead, anything. Yes, I'd like to plug my film, Rushed, mm. which is going to be coming out soon. We're submitting to festivals, and it is a fabulous thriller about a mom whose son joins a fraternity, and he experienced fraternity hazing, and what happens when a mom is pushed against the wall and law and order won't support her. Wow, who who That's plays right. the son? Um, JJ Warren plays the son. Robert Patrick from The Terminator plays yeah. my husband. Awesome. Jake Weary from Animal Kingdom plays a fraternity boy. My son, Peter Hogan, plays a fraternity boy. And we also have Perry Gilpin from Frasier. Um, oh. She plays a mom. Rusty Schwimmer plays a mom. We have, oh, a lot of names in there. Um, Jordan Lage, Mary McCann, Neil Pepe. Wow. Um, yeah, we've got a huge cast. Really Neil looking Rosenthal, forward to seeing that. Rosenthal. What? Really looking forward to seeing that it. Sounds awesome. It's going to be Fabuloso. Rushed is the name of the film. I, and where, I'm sorry, where, where where can we see it? If we're being submitted to festivals right now, and then we're going to sell it, and then hopefully you're going to see it everywhere. Yay. Done. That Can't so wait. Great. Um, anything online that you'd like to plug? Uh, Instagram account oh, yeah. or? You can go to our Instagram account at, at Rushed Film to find out when we sell, where you're going to see it, and find out all about the film. That's at Rushed Film on Instagram. If I had any money, I'd oh, wait, buy wait, it right wait, now. wait, 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 I'm wrong. My daughter just said to me, what is it, Sinead? Oh, sorry, I told the wrong thing. Sorry, on Instagram, we're at Rushed Movie. That's at, at Rushed Movie. Put it right here, movie. right here. That's where it's going. That's at it's Rushed going. Movie on gonna Instagram. Go down it's going to go right down And here. Twitter and everything else, yes. Perfect. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Right. I'm so excited. Congratulations for with the movie. I can't wait. Plug and done. Plug and done. Right. Thanks, you guys. That was really fun. Oh my gosh. She is so hilarious. All of her characters are on point. I can't believe it. I have to congratulate you. <laughs>
for doing such a great job with your accents. Thank you. So, so congratulations to thank you, you as well. Um, so we were all winners today on the Josh and Tamara Show. So thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it. And if you missed anything and want to watch some more, tell them what to do. All you have to do is go to youtube.com backslash the Josh and Tamara Show right down there. And you can watch this episode or any other episode we ever had in the past on demand right there in YouTube. And you know what? While you're at it, go ahead. Come up below. Tell us what you think. We want to hear what's going on with you guys. And we hope everyone's doing well. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that, that bell. Because then you get alerts when we have new episodes. Click and like. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Let me just your hair real quick. <laughs> oh, and, and it's it's Savan, right? Savan. Savan. Savan with an H. Savan. <laughs> Savan. Savan. Siobhan. 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 Wait, Siobhan. Am I saying it wrong? <laughs> Hang on a second. How what? hard is that for me to say? Sarah. What? Come on, Sarah. I'm sorry. Siobhan. Siobhan. <laughs> Siobhan with a B. No, Siobhan. Siobhan with an H. B H is like a B in the Gaelic, Sarah. I don't say Sarah. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. Is it Sarah? Oh, you say it one time and I'll get it right. Okay, Siobhan. Siobhan, that's what I've been saying. <laughs> that's what you mean. <laughs> <Is that> not. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I just call you S? S you can call me S. I like your curls, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you. I've been wearing them for 20 years. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. I think I should get a costume change at some point, but we don't have the budget. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> All, right, All right, Sarah. Here we go. Okay. Savon. Siobhan. So, Jesus, why can't... Sarah, if you're going to interview some, you have to know how to say their name. I know Sarah. I practiced for days. <laughs> Siobhan. 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 Think of shove and on. Siobhan. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Why did you say that the first time? <laughs> Siobhan. Siobhan, Siobhan, Siobhan. Okay, here we go.